The White House says 10% of children ages 5 to 11 have received their first dose of Pfizer since it was approved for their age group two weeks ago. Here to answer your questions about that and so much more, Dr. Shira Daron, the hospital epidemiologist at Tufts Medical Center. Hi, doctor. Great to see you, Dr. Daron. All right, so let's let's take a closer look at those numbers. At least 2.6 million kids in that 5 to 11 age group in the United States have gotten at least one shot, and more than half of that, I know I'm putting a lot of numbers on you here, and more than half of that, like 1.7 million, were administered in the last week alone. So given those numbers in that time frame, what are we learning about the, the safety issues, the side effects in that age group? Yeah, we have multiple surveillance systems in place to detect any worrisome signals. And there haven't been any concerns so far about side effects that are any different from what we expected, mostly sore arms and sometimes mild aches and low grade fevers. And all of those things just mean the vaccine is working. The, the, the alarm was, pardon me, the alarm was myocarditis. Has any of that popped up this early in the in the practice? We haven't heard about that yet. Right. Okay, good. No, I'm glad you interrupted because I wanted to know that answer too. We knew that there would be a percentage of parents who would rush to get their kids vaccinated as soon as they could. But there are plenty more who have said that they would prefer to wait and see how the vaccine is working before they make a decision. So what would you like them to know, doctor? Right. So I don't recommend waiting, especially with cases in Massachusetts rising, but I can understand why they would want to wait and see how other children do with the vaccine first. Now, what they should know is that they don't need to wait long. Myocarditis, inflammation of the heart, which we were just talking about, mm -hmm. which is the only concerning side effect we worry about, mm -hmm. appears usually within four days and usually after that second dose. So in a few short weeks, when millions of children have received their second dose, we'll hopefully confirm what we expect, that the yeah. adverse event will be rare and hopefully even more rare than it is among older kids. Mm -hmm. So Dr. Jerome, let's look at the calendar. Kids who get their first dose by the end of this week will mm -hmm. be fully vaccinated by Christmas. Hanukkah gets an early start. Hanukkah starts, I believe, a week from Sunday. So Hanukkah is right, right on the door. So that timing is out. But assuming that the timing that we're giving, they get the first course and they get the second dose three weeks after that, any idea how long that immunity might last? Could it, could it be longer for kids than adults? I think that we can expect immunity to wane like it does for adults. The Israeli data showed that immunity against any infection did wane regardless of age, but younger individuals remained well protected against severe disease in that data set, whereas older individuals became more at risk mm -hmm. of severe disease over time. So I think in this younger age group, we can be pretty confident that they'll be protected against serious complications of COVID-19 for some time. Quick question, uh, doctor. Thanksgiving, next Thursday. Are your plans different than they this, this year than they were last year? Yeah. Last year, I celebrated with my household. And this year, with my whole household fully vaccinated and the adults boosted, we're celebrating with good friends whose whole household is also fully vaccinated. And it's going to look pretty normal. Dr. Darrell, that Happy put a smile on your face. And, and ours, too. And ours. Thank you, Dr. Darrell. Stay well.